Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Today I'm going to show you how to make my ranch dressing. I've had several request, requests for more salad dressing recipes, so I figured what's the most popular salad dressing out there, and I know from my childhood it was ranch. I think everybody just focused on ranch dressing to get their kids to eat anything, you know, like salad-ish. And you know, you can use it for a dip or you can use it on salad. So I've come up with a recipe that I think is pretty comparable to ranch without the nasty milk and eggs that normally go in or like buttermilk that goes into ranch dressing. So we're just going to get into it here. I've got um, unsalted raw cashews, got some raisins, I've got some dill weed and some onion powder. And I've got white wine vinegar because I like white wine, wine vinegar. I like the taste of it better than apple cider vinegar. Um, it just seemed, apple cider vinegar seems to be a little bit too strong for me for these types of dressings. You know, you, it just kind of flavors the whole thing and you get more apple cider vinegar than the flavor of the dressing. So this just gives it kind of that nice tart punch that you need. And some Bragg's liquid amino acids and water. So we're just gonna put it all in the blender. Okay, dill and onion powder. Let's get all stuck in there. And raisins. Raisins are just used as to, to make it a, give it a little bit of a sweetness. Or you can use you could use a date too, or maybe a couple dates. It just depends on how sweet you like it. But I think uh, raisins add another level of flavor to it. That dates just kind of give you a bit a little bit of sweetness, but raisins kind of give a it's a little bit more of a rich tart sweetness. So I'm just gonna go with that. There's our Bragg's liquid aminos and some water. And the water is usually, this is about a half cup of water. It's really just to cover it completely. So I've still got a little bit of water left in there. And you can always add that later um, because what's gonna happen with this, it's gonna blend up and at first it's gonna be really nice and uh, the consistency is going to be great for pouring, but then after one day, maybe in the refrigerator, it's going to get a lot more uh, thick, so you can add a little bit of water to it and just shake it back up, and it's still great. So I've got my Nutribullet here. You can use a Magic Bullet or a regular blender will even work, or if you have a Vitamix or a Blendtec, um, even better because it'll be even smoother. But I just have my Nutribullet here because, um, you know, it's just a small amount. So we're just going to use that. And it doesn't take too long, but I like to get it really nice and creamy. So I'm just going to blend it for probably a total of one minute. I don't hear any chunks in there, so I'm just gonna unlock it and go for a taste. It's so, it's just that easy. It's really quick. It's very simple, easy, not a whole lot of ingredients, but it's all about the flavor, right? Here we go. I know I'm dipping it right in there, but that's me. Mmm, I love it. Creamy, when you get that nice flavor of the dill, tang of the vinegar. Mm. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And this should keep for, it'll keep for up to a week in the refrigerator. And this will probably, this amount will probably serve five or six people right now. It's just serving me. Mm. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.